of linear differential equation with constant coefficient. In general, the solution of the linear differential equation is written as a function of x that is represented by the two type of a solution, where the first type of a solution is a solution corresponding to the homogeneous differential equation and it is also called as a complementary function. Whereas, the second term is called as the particular solution that corresponds to the non-homogeneous solution. But in this video, we are going to learn how to find this type of a solution that is the complementary function or we can say the solution corresponding to homogeneous differential equation. So, beginning with the linear differential equation with a constant coefficient and it is a homogeneous differential equation because there is a no term that is depending upon the y and that is equal to 0. How to find the solution? So, we will follow the two or three steps. So, first step is we will write the given differential equation into the operator form. Operator form means we will convert this derivative in an operator form as d. So, we know that dy by dx can be written as d upon dx y. That is, we are operating a derivative on y variable, that is the y function of x. So, this is further can be written as d times of y, where d is equal to d by, by dx. Similarly, we will write this equation in this d operator form. So, here we have taken the derivative n times. So, we will write d raised to power n y. And here we have taken the derivative n minus 1. So, it is d raised to power n minus 1 operator on y. So, this is the derivative operator n minus 2 times on y. And here we are not using any derivative. So, we will put y as it is. Now, you can observe that there is a y term we can take common on the right hand side. So, we are getting this type of a form. So, it means the left is the operator form that is operated on the y. Here, this capital D represents the derivative with respect to x. After that, we will write the auxiliary equation. How to write the auxiliary equation from this step? So, we will replace d by m and y by 1. When you replace d by m and y as a 1, you will get this type of a form. This is the polynomial form of degree n. Now, we will solve this polynomial for m and find its root. And that is called as a root of auxiliary equation. Then we will write its general solution. Now the point is how to write the general solution. So there is a particular table for this one. That is if the root of the auxiliary equation is real number that is m1. Simple one real root is there. In that case the solution of homogeneous linear differential equation is written as constant times of e raised to power that root into x. Whereas, if we have a two roots and both are different and real, in that case the solution is written as first constant into e raised to power first root into x plus second constant e raised to power second root into x. Third case is, we have two roots but they are real as well as they are equal. So, in that case, the solution is written as e raised to power that root into x, but the now constant is written as c1 plus c2 times of x. This is also written as c1 e raised to power m1x plus c2 into x e raised to power m1x. So, we need to write x over here so that we need a linear independent solution. If you are not putting x over here, in that case c1 plus c2 is another constant. So, it means we are just writing only one solution. Since it is a quadratic equation and we are getting a two roots, so two solutions should be there and they must be a linear independent. 
so therefore we are putting x in order to get a linear independent solution in the fourth case if you have a three roots and all three roots are equal so in that case so e raised to power that root into x so now we need a three constant so three roots are there so in that case first constant plus second constant into x plus third constant into x square and if there is a fourth root so we will write plus c 4x cube in order to get a linear independent solution fifth case is the complex root so whenever we have a complex root they are occur in the pair wise so in that case solution is written in this format e raised to power ax that is the real part into c1 that is the first constant into cos of imaginary part into x plus second constant into sin of imaginary part into x and the sixth case is a complex root but they all are equal it means we are getting in this form a plus iota b a minus iota b and second complex root is same that is a plus iota b a minus iota b so we are getting a pair wise and both the pairs are same in that case the change is reflected in the constant so this term is as it is cos of b x that is the imaginary part into x is same same for the sin of b x but the change is reflected in the constant that is c1 plus second constant into x and here will be a c3 plus c4 into x so let's understand with the help of examples so find the general solution of the following differential equation so here we have this differential equation very first we need to write its operator form so this is a second order derivative minus 4 times of simple y is equal to 0 so we will write it as d square y minus 4y that is is equal to 0 this is further is equal to we can take y common that make sure it is in on the right hand side now from here the auxiliary equation is m square minus 4 is equal to 0 now this can be written as m minus 2 m plus 2 is equal to 0 so this implies either m minus 2 is equal to 0 or m plus 2 is equal to 0 so when you put m minus 2 is equal to 0 you are getting m is equal to 2 and in this case m is equal to minus 2 so this is a second order differential equation so definitely you will get a two solution first solution as a 2 and second solution of the auxiliary equation as the minus 2 now both these values are real and they are the different one therefore we will directly write the solution as so complementary function that is is equal to first constant e raised to power first root into x plus second constant e raised to power second root into x so this is how we are writing the general solution corresponding to homogeneous differential equation let's take an another example so y double dash plus 4y is equal to 0 means this is a second order derivative of y and here we are not taking the derivative so we will write it as d square y minus 4y is equal to 0 so this implies d square my sorry it's a plus plus 4 into y is equal to 0 now the auxiliary equation is so we will replace d with m so m square plus 4 and y with 1 that is as equal to 0 so m square plus 4 is equal to 0 so from here the value of m square is minus 4 so take square root on both side when you take square root on both sides so this will give you m is equal to plus minus under root minus 4 so this is a plus minus so root of 4 is 2 but what is the root of minus 1 that is as equal to the complex number iota so this is as equal to we are having a two roots m1 is equal to 2 iota so m2 is equal to minus 
two iota. So now both the rooms are complex. So we will use the fifth result. So according to this one, it says that e raised to power a x, where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. So we need to write the solution in this format. So according to this, solution is equal to, this is e raised to power a x. So we need a plus iota b form. So the value of a in this case is 0 and the value of b is 2. So e raised to power a x c1 cos of b x plus second constant sin of b x. So substitute these values over here. So e raised to power 0 x c1 cos of 2 x plus c2 sin of 2x. So e raised to power 0x means 1. So we are simply getting the answer as c1 cos of 2x plus c2 sin of 2x. So this is the solution that is a complementary solution in this case or also we can say it is a general solution corresponding to the homogeneous equation. Now the next example is y double dash plus 4y dash plus 4y is equal to 0. So write its operator form that is equal to d square y plus 4dy plus 4y is equal to 0. So this is further written as d square plus 4d plus 4y common is equal to 0. Write the auxiliary equation. The auxiliary equation is m square plus 4m plus 4 into 1 is equal to 0. So we have m square plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation. Again you will get a 2 root. So from here you can say that m square plus 2m plus 2m plus 4 is equal to 0. So or we can say this is m plus 2 whole square. So simplify this, you will get m plus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So what are the roots you are getting in this case? So we are getting m is equal to minus 2 and minus 2. So quadratic equations are there, two roots are there and both are equal that is minus 2 and minus 2. So whenever we have a equal roots, the journal solution is written as c1 plus c2 into x e raised to power mx. So in this case the solution is is equal to c1 plus c2 into x e raised to power minus 2x. So this is the journal solution corresponding to this homogeneous differential equation or we can call it as complementary function. Mm -hmm.